Africa and a great first for Uganda. March 2014. The International Federation of University Sports, FISU, opens the 26th edition of the University World Championships on the shores of Lake Victoria. The sport that traditionally opens the international season is cross country, as FISU assesses the value of university sports in Uganda. It's a good example to show how university sports is taken seriously in Uganda. Uh, for your information, university sports in Uganda here contributes a lot to the general sports development of the country. If you look at what is happening in Uganda right now, most of the sports systems, the federations, you find that these were university students who are very actively involved at their student time in sports management, which means uh, it's like a learning experience from universities. Uh, most of our national teams are made up of university students. A number of university teams do play in the national leagues. So university sports is big time in Uganda. Universities have brought their expertise to these championships and it's a good test for the entire continent. For us as uh, the Federation of African University Sport, we're very delighted that one of our members, one of our countries could host such a, a high level competition to have uh, uh, university students from across the world, in fact from all the five different continents coming to Entebbe, Uganda, we believe that uh, in the growth uh, pattern of university sport in our continent, this also uh, sets the mark. But we also even far more excited that our athletes have said, okay, welcome everybody, but we will also show you what we can do, not only on the organization side, but we can show on the track. The World Championships are a unique opportunity for the rest of the world to discover Ugandan university sport. Now this one is putting Uganda in the map, it's putting students in Uganda. You know, in most cases like this is the biggest time whereby different universities all over the world, they are picking the best. So it gives opportunity even to Ugandan students, Ugandan study from outside to get knowledge. It's like it is uniting the whole world. And this creates good friendship. Here, there is the same state of mind, friendship, cooperation and curiosity with foreign students eager to discover the secrets of the big nations in long distance running. Kenya, Ethiopia, Ethiopia and in third place Uganda, well these have been the three flagship countries in distance racing for 30 or 40 years. For me it's a great experience to see how these guys evolve. I've asked them how they train, the number of times, what are they doing? Even on the run, that's really important because these are the best in the world. 75 universities were represented in Entebbe from 18 countries, including eight African nations, a record. We have a lot of obstacles and uh, you need to have power, strength, and uh, you need to, by the time when you are reaching obstacle, you know what to do. Saturday, March the 22nd, 10.5 kilometers cross country, 60 athletes on the start line running for world individual and team titles. The African runners are the big favorites. Well, at first, when I looked at them, I thought they would be a threat to me. You know, of course, when you go into a race and you fail, you see the white, you see the black. So that kind of like, you, you don't feel comfortable and you, you say, what's going to happen? Yeah, is he going to win me? Is he going to do what? Just like, just like that. You, you see, sometimes you may be, we keep on saying that, hey, this one may be, it could be, it could be ahead of me, but that was not the case. A local runner, a Ugandan, takes the lead and accelerates. And the difference was at the eighth kilometer when I, I eventually uh, flopped over and I went, uh, accelerated and left the Kenyan wandering behind. That was my turning point. 
with an outstanding time of 31 minutes, 6 seconds, Joshua Teptege wins for Uganda ahead of two Kenyans, although the Kenyans would win the team event. Behind them, everybody drawing on all the reserves in search of a fast time. La course en elle-même, c'était la plus dure. The race itself, you know, it was the hardest of my life. After two kilometers, I started to have a pain in my stomach. In fact, I still got it, but I didn't come here to give up. So I finished as well as I was able to, and I'm still happy because the atmosphere is really the tops. It's been a taxing race for everybody. Oh, I didn't feel good there. I'm really not good. Cross country is a tough event by its very nature. For some, it was a combined challenge of exceptional heat and unknown rivals. We didn't know the girls out there. We didn't know what to expect. Um, you just go out there and you run your hardest. You have no idea um, what the competition's like, but I knew we were up for, for a good, good race. In the women's race, 42 would run for the world title. And as in the men's event, the Africans would dominate, coping better with the heat and humidity. It wasn't fast at all. Suddenly, just running at my own pace, I found myself in the front three or four. So I ran the first lap in that position. But after that, the African runners took the lead. So I ran the following two laps, round about eighth place. And the last lap was very, very, very hard. With the heat, my vision was becoming a bit blurred. At the finish, a state of exhaustion, whatever country they came from. Do you know, it shows that after all, all athletes are similar, hmm? So we fight on equal terms and, no, it's huge to share this with girls from all over the world. The Entebbe Championships mark the rise of Uganda. Although often placed, its athletes have rarely been winners in international races. Now at these University World Championships, Winnie Nanyondo, would take the individual and team title for Uganda. Surprise for my country this year because I'm the first to win a gold medal this year. The temperature 28 degrees Celsius. It's hot out there, that's for sure. It's definitely different coming from Canada. We have negative 20 degree weather, so um, yes, much hotter here, but great competition and um, it was a great course, yeah. The success of these world championships indicates that Uganda could be a destination for other sporting events. It also highlights the importance of universities in the development of a country's sport. Today, as Fizu and as Fazu, our excitement should be the number of young kids that were here today because those children will go away knowing that they can, in their own country, compete against the best in the, in the world. And to do that, they must be at universities. So it means that our uh, mindset of saying that we want to improve, the, uh, uh, to promote excellence in education, excellence in sport, uh, using uh, both FASU and FISU, actually comes to the being because those children know that they will never get on that track if they don't go to university. And to get to university, it means we are promoting education, we're promoting healthy lifestyle using um, a sport, and we're promoting a way in which they can be global citizens. Ugandan university sports, a potential path of development for others to follow on the African continent. Today's stars. Tomorrow's leaders.